You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene Johnson. After Buzz TV. AfterBuzz TV. From the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's After Show. Stand on the box, stomp your feet, stop clapping, got a real good feeling, something, something bad about, about to happen. happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> something bad about to happen. Country music <laughs> up in AfterBuzz TV tonight, and we are excited to yeah. talk. CMA, <laughs> countries, country music night to rock. I mean, my goodness. If you're not fired up after that, there's definitely something wrong with you. What a great night. And hello, the best way to start a show with this song yeah. right here. Yeah. That fired me up immediately. I was like, that was my favorite part of being there. Because I was actually there this year, which was amazing. Getting to cover it for After Buzz. And that was my favorite part. Because I love Carrie Underwood and her coming out with Miranda. It was just like... The best thing you could get. I love it. I gotta say, I was expecting it to be later on in the show, and I just, I thought, what a great way to kick it off, and those two women are just amazing. It was perfect. Yeah. And it's uh, like, it's such a great combo, because you got Firecracker, Miranda Lambert, <laughs> and glamorous Carrie Underwood, and here they come together. Well, and like, we were talking about it when we were watching, we are like, what great women, and we, we both want Carrie's legs, and we're like, they, they both have amazing bodies, but not only that, they both have amazing husbands. I mean, you, there's... Amazing there's careers. Like, yeah. These girls are successful women. <laughs> they have it all. They got it, mm-hmm. and it was perfect way to start off. So, yeah. let's start off talking, though, about this year's CMA Fest. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, wait, She's what? a little excited. I'm so We're excited loud. that I can't even remember my name, you guys. I'm Whitney Lane, one of your hosts tonight, joined with... <laughs> Hi, I'm JJ Jorgens. <laughs> and we are going to start off with some of the CMA Fest stats from this year, because once again, sold out 15 weeks in mm-hmm. advance. I mean, it's insane. 80,000 people a night. And that's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Four nights mm-hmm. of nonstop music. And it's all day. All day, every day. Yeah. It's amazing. Wow. So let's talk a little bit more about some of the other stats that, that happened. So 50% of attendees were attending for the first time, hmm. which is crazy to yeah. me. Because, you know, like, once you come once, I mean, I'm telling you, you've got to come back, you know? Which is great that if you did miss it this year, you might have had something else to do. Then you get to watch Country's Night mm-hmm. to Rock, and you get to see all the fun that went down. Mm-hmm. Uh, a couple other things which I thought was kind of cool. Among the first-time attendees, 52%, it was their first time in Nashville. Wow. So people That's are traveling, great. and they said to travel an average of 665 miles to come to Nashville for CMA Fest. I love it. I think it's just so great. I mean, it makes a great statement about country music, how it's just really going mainstream, and everybody loves it. I mean, whether they've traditionally liked rock or, you know, whatever other kinds of music before, I think there's really a whole bunch of new listeners out there that are getting into it. For sure, and Nashville's such a hub for any type of genre at this point. I mean, we saw that tonight mm-hmm. in the episode. We saw some Motley Crue. We saw Richie Sambora. I mean, it's amazing, you know? Yeah, I I gotta say, I love that. I mean, I've always been a big 80s heavy metal, big hair band. I mean, I love Bon Jovi. So to now see these two worlds, like, collide just makes... I mean, I, I think I couldn't get any happier watching the CMA Fest or anything, but now they add this, and it just, just takes it to a new level for me And as that's well. what's happening. I mean, mm-hmm. we, we've seen such a growth, because we both host the Nashville After mm-hmm. Show. So even having that show now highlight country music, it's yeah. just booming. It's growing. Everyone's flying walking to Nashville, they want to be a part of it. It's just getting bigger mm-hmm. and bigger. I mean, country music's where it's at, y'all. <laughs> it is where it's at. Get on the train now. Right? So let's talk about some of these awesome performances. Yes, let's do. Hosted by Little Big Town, which those four, they're very fun. <laughs> I mean, I love the little banter between yeah. Blake Shelton and Jimmy and Luke, you know, getting him to sign as People Magazine. Mm-hmm. Like, that's so funny. I agree. Those moments are really, I think, the fun, you know, the, the fun insight that people want to see. Because you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Even just even just the open of watching the two ladies come to the stage and, you know, seeing that moment before they walk out. Like, I love as a fan because you, you, don't, get, you don't get that perspective. You so see the I behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. And what's really cool is if they didn't show this on the show tonight, but if you were actually there, they did, before Carrie and Miranda came out together, they did a Girls Run the World, Beyonce. Uh. They played that and showed tons of different, like, really successful, empowering women. Mm-hmm. And then out come these two awesome female vocalists in country music right now. So it's really cool how they pull it all together, and mm-hmm. you get to kind of see that highlighted on the show, too. That's great. So that was very fun to see, I thought. I mean, they're just getting, it's getting bigger and bigger every year, so it's going to be interesting to see... 
2015. How are they mm-hmm. gonna How are they gonna make it better than this year? I don't even know how it's possible. They will. They'll Always. Find some way. Yeah. <laughs> Always. Well, let's talk a little bit about the host, Little Big Town. I mean, they're, they've hosted this before. Great, great time mm-hmm. seeing them there. And it's really cool to see the interactions. I think amongst musicians because these guys are friends with all these people Mm -hmm. you know they're introducing them but they're chilling with them outside of of these shows you know it's really cool to see Mm -hmm. what camaraderie is there within the the industry which i think is good for a host you know because then you you don't have somebody outside of their world you know just kind of doing boring plain introductions you know it's nice to have somebody that relates to them and is right you know that they feel comfortable comfortable with as well so so you see those funny uh like inside jokes and things like that which i love we did comment quite a few times because these hosts are singers also and they're holding those microphones (laughs) like they would be singing you know we were Mm -hmm. like look at them holding it up there's it's just so funny to see Mm -hmm. kind of their singers first second Mm -hmm. but they're great at both you know Mm -hmm. very fun so performance wise i mean it's very interesting i think because being there they did not do this in any particular order. Okay. Very out of order. We started off with um, Carrie and Miranda, gotcha. which, mm-hmm. you know, that was, I don't know, may, I think that was Saturday night or Sunday. Yeah, Saturday night when they came on or Friday. I mean, it's just all over the place. It, there was no particular order to it. But I guess for a show, you know, you obviously get to edit it and pick out what you think will be the ups and downs. Mm-hmm. So start mm-hmm. off to a rock and start. Then you get all kinds of other ones. you got Florida Georgia, Georgia. Line coming mm-hmm. up with Round Here. And talk about getting the crowd on their feet. These guys, yeah. this is a duo that is taking country music by storm. You just can't help but have fun when they sing. I think they just put you in a good mood and, you know. So fun. Yeah, and so, I mean, you see the crowd, too, when they do the, the camera pans to mm-hmm. the entire 80,000 people. Yeah, People that are stadium. singing along. They're slow dancing. They're, you know, it's amazing to see. Yeah. Yeah. LP Field, the Titans Stadium. Yeah. To think, like, you can fill that up. And you know what's really yeah. cool? All these artists do it for free. They're not getting paid at mm. all to come perform at CMA Fest. They're doing it for the fans, the best fans in the world. They always say yeah. it. But isn't that kind of cool? That's really cool. Yeah. I mean, to great. come out there and just be like this. So many of them said this is our favorite concert all year Aww. to come out for our fans who come from 600 and some miles away, yeah. right, to see their favorite country artists. And all of them within a four-day span, really, like huge wow. artists. Yeah, it's amazing. That, that really is. Hmm. And that just goes to show country music, musicians in general, I think, mm-hmm. you know? It's been hard first and getting back, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, they want to thank the people that really got them. Where they are. Yeah. Yeah, so hmm. cool. So we, we got the band Perry that came after mm-hmm. Florida Georgia Line. I mean, that... They, when they were performing, they are hyped up. I mean, they are, they're crazy. They get into it. I mean, they got the crowd going with Chainsaw. Yeah. So, which is one of their big hits right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, they played all the big hits, I think. All the ones we're hearing on That's, country radio yeah. right now, which is really fun to, to sing along to. Yeah, they knew the ones where all the fans wanted to hear, the, you know. Yeah. The most, and you know what's great. cool, too, is Kimberly Perry recently just got married. And so she actually got married right after CMA Fest. I guess if that's like the downtime in the <laughs> tour, but... Carrie Underwood, Miranda Lambert, Blake Shelton, they were all there, which is kind of uh, fun to yeah. goes to show again, like how close-knit, tight-knit that community is. But I like that. Yeah, right? <laughs> so what are some of the other the fun, well, fun performances? Then we had our guy threesome that was one of my favorites. Small Town yeah. Throwdown. That is one of my favorite That's- songs right now in general. Bringing those artists together. Me too, and I read that that was the first time them all three singing live together. I know, isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, a lot of artists, they do these songs together, like Carrie and Miranda, Mm -hmm. we see that, or Blake Shelton, he had Gwen Sebastian with him. But they're not always on tour together, Mm -hmm. you know? So to have the chance to actually perform it how they recorded it, the fans love that. Those guys are awesome, too. Like, Mm -hmm. all of them are so different, Mm -hmm. but putting them together, I mean, that is a rocking song. Yeah. Like, yeah, I great combo. It. Me too. Oh, I loved it. And you <laughs> saw Justin Moore fling his drink into the crowd. Like, people were into mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. And they're so different, too. Because yeah. you got Justin with his cowboy hat. You got Brantley with those tattoos. Uh, Thomas Rhett, he's just rocking out. Like, yeah. that's a fun song. Yeah. Well, yeah, and I think everybody, you know, I mean, I'm from a small town. And so it just it takes me back to a good place, too. You know, it reminds me of being back home. But and those tailgate like, yeah, sounds. Exactly. Know. Yeah. That's what, that's right. what people relate to it. I mean, we grew up that way. You exactly. know what I mean? So it's fun to, to think back of how it I'll was. I'll be in Nebraska in 30 days, and there I can't you go. wait. Countdown <laughs> begins. The yes. countdown begins. I'll be doing a small town throwdown, that's for sure. I love and it. I might be getting drunk on a plane. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Pulling them all together. And Dirk Bentley, of course, <laughs> performed drunk on a plane. I was setting you up. That girl. was so good. What a perfect setup. Now, that is a hit song, you guys. Oh, yeah. And everybody, I mean... 
who wouldn't want to be on that plane with Dirk Bentley? Yeah, I know it's already like on that plane. It's a little sad, you know, he's up there without his his girl. But you know what? Everybody's getting drunk but the pilot. Time to find They're someone new, fun. right? Yeah. He's ready. I mean, the flight attendant, a little sexy flight attendant he talks <laughs> about, does. sings about. Yeah. No, great get, song. Get that Beyonce's picture off that chair next right? year. You ta- yeah. <laughs> Toss that in the trash. And he his tour has been deemed one of the best tours, headlining mm. tours of all time. Like, his riser tour right now is like, people love it. He's doing great. Good for him. And it's cool to see the ups and downs of these artists' careers mm-hmm. and, like, it is. It's all about the fans, you know? Uh, They're the ones that pull them up. Yeah, you know, and it's, it is great to see persistence, too, you know, on their part, you know, just riding the ups and downs and just trusting and that, you know, your time is going to come back or, you know. And this you know, is what you love. What you, mm-hmm. you got to do it. And you're prepared for it when it happens. And we, I mentioned to her earlier, Little Big Town, it took them years. Yeah. But look how loved they are in the industry. And, like, now they have huge mm-hmm. songs. Sober, pontoon, tornado, yeah. day drinking uh-huh. that they sang on the show tonight. Yeah. See, and I think that's what's great is I think it's – I think what people really like, you know, one thing is it, it, it does. It speaks to so many people who, you know, about not giving up and keep trying. And then these people that seem to just really, now that they've made it, are just really happy and enjoying it and grateful for, Which you know, is cool for what see. they get. Because it's not yeah. just them. It's radio. It's their labels. Mm-hmm. It's their managers. It's their publicists. Like – it's CMA, you know, yeah. like everybody's working together with these artists, so it's it's good to, to see it mm-hmm. work out that way. And it also gives hope to all those aspiring yeah. musicians as well. Mm-hmm. Nashville's the place, you know, dreams come true. And here we are in L.A. <laughs> <laughs> same, thing, same thing. Yeah, dreams come true here right. too. Um, okay, we have to talk about, the. okay, my favorite part, I think I'm going to just have to say, was when... Blake was in the the golf cart. Yep. I was dying. They had the artists like yeah. that was hilarious. Yeah. All I, three of them in the back. You got Blake and Jimmy <laughs> in the front. How hilarious! I just love him. I just want yeah. And he's not here all the time for the voice here in, yeah. in L.A. But like his personality, you, it it's just him. He's fun to watch. To- totally. I could yeah. I love watching him on the Voice. I love just all his his comments and his attitude and just his little honoriness. And <laughs> yeah, okay, it. I died when Jimmy was like, "Oh, it's Miranda Labert's husband." Yeah. You guys. That was <laughs> that amazing. Was, that was very cute. Because she has the song mm. which she performed at CMA Fest, Priscilla. Which mm-hmm. is after Priscilla Presley talking about how being like kind of the arm of the of this guy that you're married to or whatever, and you're kind of on the sidelines. Who would have thought you have to be his bodyguard sometimes? Mm-hmm. She's had to deal with a lot with Blake being so famous yeah. and being on The Voice. So it's funny when someone's like Miranda Lambert's husband, you know? <laughs> yeah, that was cute. <laughs> and you also threw out the fact that the picture that we love so much of him with a mullet, you know? Look at how he, much people he, change. Yeah, <laughs> he's really come a long way. I know. Like, and his mm. album's coming out <laughs> next month. Brand new album. So he keeps mm-hmm. on moving. That's amazing. Yeah. But that was, my, I think, my all-time favorite because that shows you just, like, how chill. He's like, what in the world? Yeah. He said, I'm calling my attorney. I'm calling my attorney. <laughs> it was great. And he had his little blue solo cup, too. I feel like yeah. he's always got a nice little cocktail in hand. It's great. It's great. <laughs> they, he knows how to have fun. And yeah. his, his song, his number one hit, My Eyes, with mm. Gwen Sebastian from The Voice. That's such a good one. <sighs> I, yeah, I never get sick of that song. It's just so pretty. Just, I love when I can just sing along mm-hmm, every word mm-hmm. of these songs, you know, yeah. and it, it's fun. And he, that mm-hmm. was such a great one. And yeah. You know, how fun for her to get to, perform, oh. I mean, in front of 80,000 fans. Yeah. Dream come true. Oh, yeah. Next to him. Mm, it's amazing. Pretty good night. Yeah. That's one for the <laughs> record books for sure. Uh, what was another funny little... When they measured Tim's biceps, yes. Tim McGraw, that dude is looking on point, right? Uh, yeah, and you know, then he made the comment about he does, you know, know what kind of movie they're making there. Right. But so it probably was a good thing they were measuring his bicep, right? Not anything. Not else. yeah. How funny! <laughs> oh, he, he's he's great. I mean, he's like uh, a legend in country music at this point. You know, he's another one that like anytime he sings, it just his voice is so just beautiful you know and the intensity that yeah. he was looking at faith with it just oh, i cannot is, we've got to yeah. talk about the performance yeah because again these artists come out they do this for the fans and here comes faith with her husband yeah. i could not get over it i was just like look at them yeah they're both like, so beautiful he was and, just staring at her mm-hmm. yeah like you said with that intensity it was just so much love mm-hmm. he got that little butt grab in at the end and a little smooth I, lo- I love that little butt grab and mm-hmm. smack cute and he's like my Lifting wife up a little bit yeah giving her the credit yeah. it's awesome and because we do work on nashville it's like every time i can't help but see Raina and deacon our other favorite couple see <laughs> so, yeah. that means they have to end up together yeah, they we'll do. be getting there in 
in September, yeah. right? So, mm -hmm. no, yeah. I get it. The queen and king of mm -hmm. country music, right? Exactly. It's great. <laughs> what are some of the other ones? Together. We got Rascal Flatts. Mm -hmm. They were channeling some Pharrell with yeah. Happy. That, I was surprised by that one. That was an interesting one with all of the, uh, the whole group up there singing uh -huh. it. Sporting some good little leg kicks. And, and, yeah. and that's, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? Uh -huh. They got it. I mean, they've been doing this for years. I mean, they were talking about all their, their amazing stats and stuff. Like, it's yeah. pretty cool. But... Um, I did think it was interesting. It's just like so many of them up there in front, you know, everybody singing along. I mean, how many albums have they been yeah. through? Did they mention like 22 number ones or something like that? I probably am getting this wrong, mm -hmm. but it's, it's pretty amazing to see. To oh, see yeah. such a longevity of a super group is what they called them. Yeah, totally. Yeah, definitely. And, and such a just interesting group of people standing up there, too. Mm -hmm. You know, so how they come together and make, you know, their sound is... You know, very interesting. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And then they sang the, their latest single, Payback, mm -hmm. which is also, that's on the radio now, mm -hmm. after Rewind from their album. Good you, stuff. You, speaking about the 20, the fat stat you just threw out yeah. there, too, I thought it was interesting. I meant to bring that up with Carrie and Miranda. That they've had 21 number one singles together. Amongst like, them. Yeah, yeah amongst combined. The two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was a little impressive. Impressive number as well. They are, though, aren't they? Yeah. All these. Yeah. I love them. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Then we have Hunter Hayes, who I just can't believe he's only 22 years old. Taylor Swift would sing 22. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hunter Hayes. I mean, he gets those girls on, on mm -hmm. their feet. That's for sure. Yeah, they Talented them dude. He can play all those instruments. I mean, he's very talented. Mm -hmm. He has a long, long career ahead of him. Yeah. Fun to see him. Yeah, it is. It just was, yeah, I mean, such composure and just just, just amazing that he's And also, too. just like this whole show, it highlights just all the differences within the genre too. You've got Hunter mm -hmm. Hayes and you've got Rascal Flatts. Yeah. And then you've got, you know, Van Perry and Florida Georgia Line. I mean, they're so different, yeah. but it's still country music at, it, at its heart, mm -hmm. you know, and that's what brings everybody out and excited to watch it. Mm -hmm. I think that, yeah, and probably why you have such a great diverse crowd now too, because you have all those different yeah. options. Good for us. Mm -hmm. I like it yeah, all. I do too. I sing it all. I do too. We, we have Jason Aldean. Yeah, mm -hmm. who is... What, the top selling male artist at this point right now in his career it's amazing two time mm -hmm. ACM vocalist of the year like it's insane he just keeps on going when she says I'm baby <laughs> he, yeah. he's doing very well for himself mm -hmm. the sure burning is. it down tour right now man he's doing it yep with four Georgia line mm -hmm. they're out together mm -hmm. right now so that's kind of mm -hmm. fun um let's see Jake Owen was beaching. I do think these two performances, the one with Jake Owen, and then you've got Justin Moore with Motley Crue. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's cool to see them kind of stray away from LP Field, and you go into these little honky-tonks yeah. on Broadway where they're playing for the smaller crowds. Yeah. That's what it is. That's what yeah. Nashville's all about. That whole CMA Fest, you're walking down the streets, you don't know where you're going to hear music. I mean, people right. are playing constantly, and you can yeah. walk in where you've got, you know, Vince Neal and, and Nikki, what's his name? Nikki Six, Six. Mm -hmm. playing with Justin yeah. Moore. That's amazing. Love yeah, love that. That one was it's, solid. Mm -hmm. I thought the sounds too of the music and just like the different. It was just so so many differences, but together yeah. it was it sounded great. Yeah, I agree. I absolutely loved it. And I yeah, and I and I agree with you. I love the fact they're in the small little venue because those are the the best little places to mm -hmm. to, to hear things. And what a treat for those people Up that were in and there. Personal. Yeah, and you got barefoot Jake. Yeah. Walking around, singing beach in, girls in bikinis. They were he's having so a party. Sexy. He's got it. Yeah, he does. And he's got a beautiful wife and a little cute baby. Man. Mm -hmm. All these kind of dark studs, and handsome. Right? Mm -hmm. So when you were there, <laughs> um, did you get to go into a lot of the small venues and hear some people? And like who was. You know, you so they had multiple, CMA Fest had multiple stages all mm -hmm. over downtown. So, I mean, streets were blocked off. You know, you could go to the Bud Light stage and get some different artists or there were all kinds. So uh -huh. anywhere you walked, you were hearing music. It That's didn't matter good. where, you know. So that uh -huh. was what was so cool about it. Because even if you're not at LP Field at night, you can still get so much country music in during your day. Mm -hmm. But I have to say that the... the LP Field concerts were amazing. You yeah, know, you can't miss out on that. If you're going, you got to go big to CMA Fest. Yeah, it's totally worth it. Live, did you have a favorite? I mean, I couldn't. I told you, Carrie and Miranda, they're my favorites. Mm -hmm. Like those girls when they when she came out. Yeah. And, you know, even when Faith came out, when there was little surprise like that, the crowd just goes wild, and it's so cool because it's eighty thousand strong. Yeah. So it's amazing yeah. to hear everybody. People are standing up in their seats dancing. Doesn't matter how far back you are, how close you are. People are having a mm -hmm. blast, and that's what's so fun about it. 
Oh, I bet that was just amazing. It I'm is. going with you next yeah, year. Yeah, you are. We'll be there. We'll be there again. Got to be. Let's see. What else? We've got Luke Bryan. I mean, <laughs> we've got to talk about yeah. Luke Bryan. I love him. Now, that that's a man that gets the, get the ladies and mm -hmm. the men dancing. I mean... If you could shake it like Luke Bryan, you're probably doing well. Because that boy shook it. Yeah, you were very impressed with his shaking abilities. I was so abilities. impressed. I was like, that guy can move. <laughs> and, I mean, people love him, you know? Yeah. Luke Bryan, he is, golly. Sexiest country man alive. As Jimmy Westbrook got his autograph, <laughs> yeah. one day you'll um. get there. It's hilarious. <laughs> no, but, I mean, he definitely got the crowd on their feet. All of them mm -hmm. did, though. Yeah. You know, you can't even... I don't even know. I know. Yeah, it, yeah, it's really hard to single, you know, the best out because there's just the, there were so many great performances. Yes, and that's what's so fun about it is to get to go back and relive it. Like mm -hmm. you live these four de amazing days when you're there in Nashville, but mm -hmm. to get to relive it again and kind of remember all those fun yeah. memories, that's what's cool. Now, what else? Because you also isn't that where you were at the um, the softball event or the yeah, and that was field? within CMA Fest, mm -hmm. the City of Hope softball game. They have a lot of different events, you know, for different different causes and things. And mm -hmm. you'll see all these artists coming out during this week to support these amazing charities and, and give back. So it's constantly, there's something going on. Yeah. There's a chance for you to see one of your favorite artists at any time. I mean, they do fan autographs and fanfare. Like, there's mm -hmm. just something to do all the time. So you have a chance to kind of see the artists in a different light when they're yeah. just chilling with their fans. You know, yeah. fan parties constantly. Like, it's really cool to see. I saw all you fans out there need to go there to see him playing softball, all kinds of different things. I mean, get to get to Nashville yeah. for CMA Fest 2015 <laughs> for sure, for sure. Okay, so we had a few more. I mean, Brad Paisley mm -hmm. came out with Riverbank, which mm -hmm. we actually just went to his concert out here in LA. Yes, he, and he performed that one. Every you know had the crowd on yeah. their feet out there. He's a great performer, really always. Is. Mm -hmm. And speaking of Brad Paisley, I mean, we'll be seeing him in, him in November for some more Somewhere CMA now. fun. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that, yeah. too. We'll tease that one later. <laughs> um, and then they, they kind of ended it with a fan favorite at this point, Dirk Spentley and Wagon Wheel. Mm -hmm. You don't get better than that. You know, you got to sing Johnson City, Tennessee. That was, I love that song. Yeah. Can't yeah. get enough. Yeah. And Darius Rucker, I mean, Hootie, you know. Yeah, yeah. He's having some fun. So <laughs> it was an all-around amazing show filled with the best performances. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a solid show. Like it, and it really moved too. You know, it, it didn't. Yeah. It didn't seem long. It didn't. I thought they did a great job of, of the pacing and keeping everything going. Right. And just yeah, you just you were right ready for the next one. And yeah, it was a three hour special that yeah. makes you want to jump into next oh, year for yeah. sure. So mm -hmm. kudos to ABC yeah, and CMA great. for all that. It was very fun to watch. I was really wondering how are they going to fit on in all of these. Ah. You know, three hours. That's a long time. Mm -hmm. But no. You could keep watching for hours, you know? Oh, yeah, and you can go back and watch it. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah. It was great. Yeah, yeah. So we, we do have a little news that we're going to share with you. After Buzz TV News. We already teased it a little bit, but yeah. November 5th, Wednesday, November 5th, you better tune in for the CMA Awards, hosted for the seventh <gasps> time by Brad Paisley and Carrie Underwood. You know it's going to be good. So That's let's talk. They, how funny was it? The little game that they played. Yeah, that was great. Carrie took home the win and the bobbleheads. Yeah, but well, let's talk about the bobbleheads for a second, though. How <laughs> funny, right? <laughs> Carrie's probably. Well, first Poor of all, Carrie. where was Brad's mustache? Yeah. I, was, I was like, where's Brad's mustache? But I mean, and, they and have it looked so nothing much fun like together. Carrie. No. <laughs> The but it was hair. cute. It was cute. But yeah, yeah, super cute. And I mean, they're always a hit. Like, it's yeah. going to be so much fun. So, November 5th. Yeah, I think that's something that, you, yeah, as ABC as a network just can't mess with. I mean, because. Too good. And, and who, not only that, but who would want to go in their shoe, you know, follow in their shoes, like footsteps? No. Too it's, hard. No. They're great. They're a lot of pressure. They're fun. They're, yeah, everybody loves them. Perfect yes. chemistry, and he, she may be on his next album, so mm. so he says. So, lots of good stuff to look forward to. November 5th, CMA Awards. Going to be good stuff. Thanks for tuning in with us and talking country music here on After Buzz TV. Again, I'm your host, Whitney Lane. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram, at Southern underscore Wit. And I'm JJ Jorgens, and you can follow me at JJ Jorgens and at my blog at TomGirl.TV. We'll talk some more country soon. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network.
To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.